Hi witches! Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I had yesterday off so I accidentally took a 12 and a half hour nap. That was crazy. Um, but anyways, today um, I am back to talk to you guys about some low energy ways to celebrate the full strawberry moon. And I just wanted to take a second to mention that I think I got the date wrong. It is actually on June 3rd, the full moon. Um, in my calendar, I mark the day before the day of of and the day after because those are the days I celebrate. Because for both the full moon and the new moon, I um, I like to spend time preparing, celebrating, and reflecting on my experience. Um, so I was like looking in my calendar and I was like, ah, perfect. And I wrote like the first date down, not like the middle date. So that was totally on me. I'm usually pretty good about that. Um, so it was a little bit embarrassing, but hopefully you guys can forgive me. Oh, I'm so sorry. But anyways, um, today I wanted to talk about some low energy ways to celebrate this moon in case you were just like not feeling up to it, which I totally understand. Um, as you guys know, I am not super shy about talking about my mental health struggles on my YouTube channel or anywhere else. I'm just kind of like, it's part of who I am. So um, it's kind of unavoidable. And I totally understand not feeling like, well enough to celebrate um, in a way that you want to. So I just, I never want people to feel bad or feel like their practice isn't enough or like you aren't doing enough to be considered a witch. Um, if you just like aren't feeling up to practicing and you should always choose to rest and take care of yourself rather than go into all of this ritual work because we work the best when we're feeling our best, right? So, um, that being said, if you still want to, like, if you're feeling up to, like, honoring this moon and you don't want to do, like, a big crazy working, totally understand. Um, here are some things, some low energy things that you can do um, just to celebrate the full strawberry moon in Sagittarius. Um, number one, first thing that I really recommend everybody go out and do is eat some fresh strawberries. Oh my gosh, if you can. I know that fruit is kind of expensive right now, but um, if you are allergic to strawberries or maybe don't like strawberries, pick your favorite summer fruit. Personally, for me, I think of like mangoes and avocados and all sorts of yummy. That's not really a fruit, I guess. Well, is it a fruit? There's a pit. I don't really know. Anyways, I love avocado toast and that's why I'm never going to own a house. Um, so I, I just encourage you to really... Um, just like nourish your body with the fruit, the flavors of summer, whatever that looks like for you. And just take some time, um, just yeah, have a nice meal. <laughs> Next, and this might be a helpful tip for witches who are in the broom closet or who are not able to like openly practice, uh, but I really encourage you just to light a candle to represent the full moon. Um, this is something that we can all just, we can do. Um, hopefully if you are maybe in a dorm or something, this may not apply. So um, I have other tips for you. Maybe pick, pick something else, but um, I digress. Lighting a candle is probably not going to draw a lot of attention rather than, you know, going out to look at the moon. People might be like, what are you doing? Oh my gosh. But most people are not going to like bat an eye at a candle. Um, and I really, I used to have like a full moon candle and a new moon candle that I would light during the full moon and the new moon in the beginning of my practice. And like, Maybe I should bring that back. And yeah, I never really got questioned about that. So I really encourage you just to like have this like little representative thing, even if you're not feeling well enough to go outside to, you know, look at the moon or even just like anything like that. Um, this is also a really great way to kind of introduce like calming scents. So if it's like a lavender candle or something like that, you can introduce that into your space and maybe help with your like brain, brain stuff, right? Um, my next tip is also super good for witches who can't openly practice, and that is simply to dress in the colors that we talked about corresponding with this full moon. So things such as reds, pinks, and golds, I would say. Um, maybe even like some dark greens for those like strawberry colors. Um, but whatever, whatever resonates with you, I encourage you to kind of weave those colors into your wardrobe for the day, just to kind of have that for yourself. Um, number four, carry some rose quartz with you. I have mine on my necklace today. Um, a dear friend of mine made this for me, so it's just like very special. It's a little talisman. Um, but rose quartz is a super accessible, um, super small, like especially if it's just a tumble, you can just put it in your pocket. It's there with you um, just to lend some like healing and loving vibrations to your life. Um, and then finally, number five is to go make moon water. This is your reminder. Now, I know it might be a daunting task, but never fear. We're going to do it together. All right. So come, come along with me, children. Let's go make our moon water, shall we? <laughs> 
All right, so welcome to where I make moon water. Um, this is kind of a, just like a wash basin that was actually a gift for my wedding. So thanks, Dan, we love you. Um, anyways, I, um, I have my moon water vessel here that I got at Goodwill. If you haven't seen that video, definitely check it out. Um, but the moon water that I am going to be prepping for this um, lunar cycle in this specific vessel is going to be for my plants. So handy dandy trick for, oh gosh, Oh, and this is why we do it over the basin. Okay, <laughs> um, handy dandy trick is just by using your watering can, especially if it is, um, you know, for your plants as is. I also sometimes like you can add a liquid fertilizer um, and sometimes that takes like 24 hours or like um, mosquito bits if, if you have fungus nets. I learned that recently. Um, they have to soak in water. I'm not going to do it this time, but also consider doing that with your moon water. Um, come on now. I'm going to go water the rest of my plants anyways, so I'll use that. So I have this all prepped. I'm actually going to keep this on a lower shelf for now, just kind of out of the way, waiting for his time to shine. And then on the evening of the full moon, I will put it out on a windowsill. Yeah, and just really let the water soak up all of that lunar energy so i hope that this helped i hope that this was a fun video um thank you guys for dealing with my high energy mood i slept well for the first time in a while so i'm really really energetic but anyways um i will see you guys in the next one